Hello, fire engineers, and welcome back to the platform of fire engineering with me, Mohammed Al Hamad. Today, we are going to delve into an important aspect of the fire protection systems, the breaching inlet, or also known as the fire department connection. We'll cover its purpose, requirements, installation tips, and more. So, ready to enhance your knowledge in the fire engineering? Let's get started. What is a breaching inlet or fire department connection? A breaching inlet or a fire department connection is a crucial component of a building's fire protection system. It's a connection through which the fire department can pump a secondary water supply to the existing water tank system, such as automatic sprinklers, wet risers, or manual systems like dry standby risers. This ensures that even if the primary water supply fails, the fire department can still maintain enough water pressure to extinguish fires. A breaching inlet must be provided for the building's active systems. A separate dedicated breaching inlet located within 18 meters of fire truck parking must be provided directly to the fire water tank for easily refilling by civil defense fire trucks. The breaching inlet must be listed for a working pressure equal to or greater than the system's pressure requirement. The breaching inlet is required for wood standby systems, sprinkler systems, or for water tank to maintain a sufficient water supply. A minimum of one fire department connection is required for any standby system. Two fire department connections, breaching inlet, must be provided for each zone in high-rise buildings or multiple attached buildings exceeding 900 feet in perimeter distance. The size of fire department connections must be based on the standby system demand, including 2.5 inch inlet. And for the valves, a listed check valve must be installed in each fire department connection and located in an accessible location. The check valve must be installed as close as possible to the fire department connection inlet. And there should be no shut of valve in the fire department connection. The fire department connections must be located and installed as per the following dimension. Fire department connections must be equipped with approved plugs or caps, properly secured, to protect the system from dust and arranged for easy removal by the fire department. Piping between the fire department connection and the check valve in the inlet pipe must be tested in the same manner as the rest of the system. Each breaching inlet connection to sprinkler, wet riser or dry riser systems must be clearly designated by a sign. The sign must be both in English and Arabic, indicating the service for which the connection is intended. For example, it should read as water tank, sprinkler system, wet riser or dry riser. Now, let's look into the two-way and four-way connection requirement. Thank you for watching, engineers. If you found this content helpful, remember to like, share, and subscribe the platform channel on YouTube for future updates as well. I'll keep the link in the description for the Instagram page, Telegram group, and to connect with me on LinkedIn. Keep learning. Stay safe. Until next time, stay tuned for the next video by the platform of Fire Engineering with me, Mohammed Al-Hamad.